Hello, book folding friends. Elizabeth Gale here. Welcome in and thanks for joining me. Our book folding pattern of the month for January is the word read. And this is the book right here that I folded from the pattern. I designed this one as a fun reminder to make a cup of hot tea, hot cocoa, and curl up with your favorite book. It's so cold outside right now. It's the perfect time to stay inside, get cozy, and do some reading. You can also use this pattern to make a special gift. If you've got a book lover in your life who loves to read, they'd be so excited to receive your folded book. And they'll probably say, how in the world did you make that? They'll be very impressed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pattern. I'll put a link in the description to my shop online where you can get the pattern. It comes as a digital file in PDF format. You download it to your computer, and then after you download it, you print it out. So I've got the pattern printed out here. And if we look at the cover page, it gives you specific information about the project. If you look here, you'll see the method that we'll be using is the traditional measure, mark, and fold method. And there's no cutting required for this pattern. We will only be folding. And next you'll see the number of folds is 195, which is 390 numbered pages. And as a quick refresher, remember that in book folding, a fold with a capital F is a single sheet of paper in your book. It is a single sheet that is numbered on both sides. For example, if we look at the sample here, we've got a page in a book. And this single sheet of book, in book folding is a fold. And of course, it's numbered on both sides. So one fold equals two numbered pages because each fold or sheet of paper is numbered on both sides. So if we look back at our pattern, you can see that's why this is doubled here. 195 folds or sheets of paper equals 390 numbered pages. And if we look at the next line, you'll see the height of the book you'll need will be at least 22 centimeters. And when I'm talking about height, I'm talking about the covers of the book, not the pages inside. The pages inside, of course, are always uh, shorter than the covers. So you'll need to get a book that's at least 22 centimeters tall on the cover. Now it can be taller, this folded sample that I used is, let's see, it's a little over 24 centimeters. So if it's a little taller, that's okay. And with this particular pattern, the word read, since the design is just so centralized in the pattern, there's nothing in the design that's going up high in the book or coming down low in the book. You could use a book that is as short as 20 centimeters and you could use one that is as tall as 25 centimeters. Anywhere in that range would work since the word read is just staying right here, pretty much right across the middle. It would still look good. Um, anywhere from 20 to 25 centimeters would be fine. Just keep in mind that the taller your book is, the higher your finished design will be situated in that book. And the shorter your book is, the lower your completed design will be situated in that book. So just be aware of that when you're out looking for a book for the read pattern. Now let's look at the pattern. And we'll go to the second page here and you can see that the pattern is the typical table of measurements that you'll be working through where each line of the pattern equals one page in your book. And if we look here at fold number one, you can see this is the beginning of the capital letter R, and it has a first measurement of 5.9 centimeters and a second measurement of 6.9 centimeters. And so you'll just keep working down through the pattern and it goes all the way up to fold number 195 right there will be your final fold, which has a measurement of 13.8 and 14.8 centimeters. Let's turn back to the first fold. 
And why don't we go ahead and mark and fold these first five folds together. That'll get you off to a good start, and then you'll be able to see how the capital letter R begins. Well, I've got my book here ready to go and my pattern, and so we're ready to start measuring, marking, and folding. Now, I like to use this piece of elastic right here to act as a third hand uh, at, while I'm working to hold down the pages. I put a safety pin on it so that I can adjust it as I work through the pattern, and it just helps me out. And then I like to pull that around so all that's tucked under. And for measuring and marking, I'm going to use my INCRA Precision T rule. I just love this ruler. I've used it for many years for book folding. And the best part about it is this red T bar right here. And what that does, it sits right up against the top edge of the paper so that the zero on the ruler is at the same point on every page that you mark. So that ensures that your folds are even and straight and it makes your book folding look really good and professional. So I just love this ruler. And it also has, let me bring it up, you can see little slots here next to the measurements and your pencil just drops right into those slots. So it makes it much quicker to mark also. So let's go ahead and measure and mark fold number one. Uh, for fold number one, we have a measurement of 5.9 and 6.9, so let's mark that. And I like to get the slots on the INCRA right at the edge of the page. So it's going to be, and I can see the paper through the slots here. So we've got 5.9 and 6.9. And I like to check that off in the pattern so I keep track of where I am. Tuck that under the elastic. And fold number two is going to be 13.8 and 14.8 centimeters. Let's mark that. 13.8 and 14.8. Check. And fold number three will again be 5.9 and 6.9. And sometimes the measurements will repeat. That's not a typo. Uh, that's just helping build up sections of the pattern. So we're going to mark 5.9 and 6.9 again. Fold number three. Check that off. Fold number four will be measurements of 13.8 and 14.8 again. One more fold, which fold number five will be 5.9 and 7.0. Put that right at the edge, 5.9. Now let's go back and we will fold those. For folding, I like to use this metal ruler by Westcott. It's nice and flexible, as you can see, and it's got a cork backing so it doesn't slip. So let's go ahead and do fold number one. And I put this edge of the ruler up against the spine, and then I put the opposite edge of the ruler on that first top mark that we did, which was 5.9. Hold it back like that. And then to make a nice crease, I like to use a foam folder. Start at this edge, push away. And we'll do the second mark. Put this edge against the spine firmly. 
and then pull the opposite edge down to that second mark, which was 6.9. Score it. And come in with the bone folder, get it right on the outer edge of that mark. And then let it roll. And it's crossing the spine a little bit. I'm going to dog ear that back. Take care of that. And let's go on to fold number two, which were measurements of 13.8 and 14.8. We got that against the spine. Fold back over the ruler. And then finish it with the bone folder. Against the spine, come down to the mark. Score it. And finish. Now let's do fold number three, which were measurements of 5.9 and 6.9 again. 5.9. And that one's crossing the spine again just a little, so I'm going to dog ear that one back also. If you like to use a different method of folding, uh, like say the 90 degree method, instead of putting the ruler up against the spine, that is perfectly fine. The word read will look the same on the edges of the pages, no matter which method you use for folding. I just like to use uh, this method with the ruler against the spine, but it's just purely personal preference. So you just use whichever method works best for you and the one that you like best. And we're on our last one, which is fold number five, with measurements of 5.9 and 7.0. And again, that crossed over the spine just a little. I'm going to dog ear that one back. You could also cut this off with scissors if you don't want to fold it back like this. That would help reduce bulk. You could just trim it off. All right, we have completed measuring, marking, and folding folds one through five. And you'll just continue working on through the pattern all the way up until fold number 195 right here which will be measurements of 13.8 and 14.8. It'll be this little part right here at the end of the letter D on that serif. That will be your final fold. And then you will have your completed read design. If you're brand new to book folding, I've made a video just for you here on my channel where you'll learn all the steps of book folding um, how to select a book, how to pick out your tools, how to calculate your start page. And that video will teach you everything you need to know to learn book folding. And I'll put a link to that here at the end of this video right on the screen. You can click on it. So if you're new to book folding, be sure and watch that video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. That really helps me out a lot and helps this channel grow. I hope you'll pick up the read pattern and give this one a try. God bless you, and thanks for watching.